Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video I want to talk to you about this little baby behind me. 1954 Build-A-Bug Project Ragtop 3-Fold Sunroof. We are almost finished with this car. I'm going to get behind the camera and go around it and uh, show you what we've been working on and uh, show you some nice areas of this car that really make it shine. So, let's go. So here she is guys, 1954 3-Fold Sunroof Ragtop Build-A-Bug Project for uh, a client of ours named Joe. Uh, great guy, great car. He sold this car while we were picking up this uh, this bug in Pennsylvania. I got a call on this car, uh, I guess almost two years ago. And uh, if you've been following, this is the car that we found in, P in PA. And that was in that little mini barn. It was like a shed <laughs> that the guy had on this property. Guy was moving and he had to dump the car. So from the get-go, this car had great bones to it. No heater channel rot, no cross member rot. Um, no floor pan rot, no quarter panel rot, no accidents really. Uh, there was something in the past might have uh, fallen on it that landed on the rear quarter panel, um, you know, up by the quarter window. It might have been a branch or something, but they did fix that. But other than that, this car uh, just had great structure to it and was very complete. Uh, so, but what you see on it is a evergreen metallic, very close to what they offered in the oval era called almond green. Uh, you could even say it's probably almond green. Uh, it's that close. So, um, very, very shiny color. And when this thing is in the sun, it gleams. Uh, it's just, and it's a perfect, perfect paint job that came out of here. So, um, let's look under the hood. I'll show you a couple things here, what we did. So, uh, here's our spare tire. Now, you notice I got radial tires on the car. Uh, I like the Coker Radial Nostalgia Classic Tire. You can get that from Jags.com or SummitRacing.com. It's usually 160 a tire. Uh, really good tire. I mean, it really handles the road well. But on these early Beetles, you know, those radial tires sometimes just do not fit into the spare tire tub here. So, you know, I'm forced, you know, you get a bias tire as a, as a spare. This is a Coker uh, bias that we put in here. So. Um, really good tire fits in there. I mean, if you want to put the radial in there, you usually got to deflate the air, but that's kind of defeats the purpose if you break down somewhere and now you got no air in your tire, so. And as you can see, our gas tank, uh, we actually send these out now to get uh, acid dipped on the inside, so all the, uh, the paint uh, on the inside or any sludge or any rust that's going on on the inside gets co completely cleared out, completely seal the tank, and then the exterior now we are powder coating in a gloss black. I used to paint this, I used to sand these down and uh, you know, do it the old fashioned way. But now as business has been booming, um, I gotta start outsourcing some things uh, to get some of the uh, uh, items done. So, uh, but um, really nice in here, all new wiring harness that we got. And uh, that helps, uh, you know, but even with the new wiring harness, when I put this in, of course we always had a ground issue. Not every electrical component was working immediately. So. Uh, even with the headlights, you know, I turned the headlights on and one was working, the driver's side was working, the passenger side was not, and a lot of times it comes down to the grounds. You know, you got to clean out the paint that was all gunked up inside the fender here where the, uh, the headlight bucket bolts into. So sometimes just turning this screw that holds the bucket in place will make the light go on. So uh, grounds, grounds, grounds is everything when it comes to a Beetle. Okay, so here's the tires and rims once again. Many people are asking me, where am I getting my beauty rims from? Uh, I usually don't buy them from the Volkswagen uh, shops. I'm just getting them on eBay. If you put in 15 inch uh, beauty trim ring, something of that nature, the one and three quarter inch uh, beauty rim, you should be able to find a set of four of those on eBay. Really nice, uh, stainless are really great. Uh, they also have a, um, uh, an ABS version as well. Uh, looks just as nice. So. Uh, that's where I get my beauty rims from. And as we work our way onto the car, I always go again with stainless molding on the sides. I know that was not original. Uh, aluminum trim would have been original, but the stainless molding just really makes uh, the body pop more. Um, let's see here, we're working on our interior. So here's our signature kit once again. Uh, we went with the uh, oatmeal tweed, brown piping, brown strip on the bottom, very similar to what was offered in Europe. Uh, Europe uh, stayed mostly cloth, while the American market uh, hung with vinyl. So, but let's work our way in here. Here's the dash. Uh, client opted for the banjo steering wheel. I think the banjo works beautifully well in this car. 
Uh, something to note of with the banjo steering wheel, if you buy the aftermarket, you do have to buy an adapter. Uh, and it does bring the wheel up just a bit closer to you as you're driving. It's not too terrible, uh, but I did notice uh, in the later years, like if you have say a 60 and later Beetle and you want to put a banjo wheel, the adapter that you have to mount on the steering column is much bigger. Uh, really obtrusive and uh, really sticks out like a sore thumb. And not only that, it does bring the steering wheel up even closer to you. Uh, so I, I usually don't opt to go with banjos for the later years, unless you change the steering column from an earlier uh, car to put into your later car. But um, we went with the uh, German square weave carpet that we got from Wolfsburg West. The client opted for Coco mats. Of course, our uh, under parcel shelf, uh, chrome uh, basket, storage basket. And as you can see, I've been working on the headliner here. I should be wrapping up the headliner by the end of the week and getting this slider all in place. I uh, got the rear carpet in with the rails. Early Beatles had the uh, rails in the back there on the luggage compartment, which is really nice. I like that a lot. Uh, so uh, looking really cool here. On his dash, he got a really nice blob punk radio that he got on eBay. And of course the Pahoras clock, which is very, very desirable. Not cheap these days. Uh -huh. 